a pansexual, you're basically attracted to whoever you're attracted to. Pansexuals just really do whatever the hell they want to do. Like, people think bisexuals is just so bad. Not even saying pansexuals is bad. However, pansexual, they'll date a man. They'll date a, a, a woman. Um, they'll date transgender. Um, of course, of their liking. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm sure it's a fine line between femininities and masculinities. You get what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If Zoe and J.C. end up going together, first of all, I don't know how tall J.C. is. But I know Zoe is very, very feminine. And I feel like Zoe is pansexual. He has to be. Oh, anyway. Um, you know, some of y'all may... Damn, that lawnmower is loud. Just keep on riding by, sir. Oh, you got to ride back again, huh? My grind and I can't lose Waking me up now like I can't snooze Niggas don't make it home like they used to Niggas ain't making dough like they used to I ain't come to play with you niggas I'ma make a few Subscribe, like to her channel Okay Make sure you turn on post notifications So you can see her daily updates Okay, Yay. let's go oh. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nikki G, the host And today I need y'all to go follow At Drippy Rags, they will be on the screen, man I need y'all to go follow them they got some dope ass do rags. As you can see, I got on Louis V. You heard? I got on the Louis V. Got on the Louis V. Drippy. This velvet right here. You know what I'm saying? Got the red velvet. You know what I'm saying? Like red velvet cake. I got the glittery joint. You know what I'm saying? I got the glittery joint. Get my prints on. Bring my sexy back. You get what I'm saying? Also, got a Gucci, uh, a Gucci little headband. You know what I'm saying? For when your shape up ain't right, you need to cover it up. You got the Gucci for that. You know what I'm saying? I need, you to, I need to make sure y'all go follow them, man. And go get your drippy rags today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at me. It make me even sexier. It's pulling out my sexy. You get what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go cop that today, man. Enjoy the video. I need my back in. I ain't going in to that cake right. I don't give a fuck what you heard. You get murked, you heard that. That's my favorite part. Y'all listen, I need a little bit of yoga, yo. Little bit of yoga, yo. For my birthday. Oh. <laughs> First of all, Nova, I still got my chair in the kitchen, nigga. What's up? <laughs> One of my homies. <laughs> Nick, you just got your chair in the kitchen. Get your chair in the kitchen just over there doing anything. Hey, this the man pad. You know what I'm saying? I can do whatever I want over there. Yeah. If I want my chair in the kitchen, I can have my chair in the kitchen. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki G, the host. And today, first of all, I need y'all to come to my all-white party, man. It is this Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna be lit. I just want y'all to come, you know what I'm saying? That's it. I just want you to come, you know? Um, so today's video is gonna be about Jaceon. So Jaceon is a transgender who used to go with a girl, a transgender girl named Aubrey. So they had a channel called All J's Love. I think I'm saying that right. No disrespect. JC, I if you watch this video. And um, <clears throat> they used to go together. And uh, from my understanding from watching their videos, you know, um, Aubrey had got a, a surgery down there. And, um, you know, right after the surgery, um, they broke up. Now, why they broke up, not sure. Um, because I don't want to speculate and start telling you stuff that ain't true. But they broke up, you know what I'm saying? And now they're all, they're both separate and it seems as if Jaceon is very happy and I don't really know what Aubrey is doing. Um, however, it was a transgender man and a transgender woman that were dating. I thought it was very interesting. I actually wanted to interview Jaceon um, because I thought that was so interesting. But we never got around to it. Um, but, Zoe said that he would date Jaceon. So Jaceon has responded to that. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We're just about to get to this video. You're like it. First name Jaceon, Ashley. Ditto. Last name Ashley. Ditto. Last name Ashley. Ditto. Last name Ashley. Ditto. Happy as hell. Back in the with another video. 
They see how I can dress his ass off too. What's up, what's up, what's up, you two? First name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto. And I'm back at it again with another video. So, I did a live the other day. Well, the same day today. A couple of hours. A couple of minutes, I think. Um, I showed my apartment because everybody wanted to know what my apartment looks like. But I'm going to show it again since I'm actually making a YouTube video so that the people who just actually, you know, never really got to see my apartment. But I have to wash this, man. I have a dishwasher. <laughs> God. The light no point. <laughs> okay, I went too far. Is my sexuality. What am I attracted to? Am I attracted to women? Am I attracted to, 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 to men? Do I like, do I date nothing but trans women? Do I date cisgender women? Everybody seems to have that question. Now, there's a video that's been going around from um, I Am Zoe. Um, I think it's I Am Zoe. It's not Zoe. It's not Zoe. It's called it's not Zoe. Um, and everybody kept tagging me in it like, yo, um, well, Royalty posted it on her page and everybody has been tagging me and they're like, yo, have you seen this video? <laughs> have y'all noticed nobody ever asked my name? <laughs> they always put the bigger YouTuber over me. Hey, I just don't understand. I'm the one who needs the promotion. Not that nigga. But it's okay. Yeah, nobody loves me. I'm convinced. I'm, I'm totally cool with it. So on and so forth, like, it's been like, people bringing it to my DMs and stuff. I'm gonna put a little snippet of what the video was about and what he said in the video and stuff like that. Um, so, I thought you was gonna I'm like, like trans to No, 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 if I say a girl can smash that man, she's gonna fuck me with the other. I'm not gonna smash her. Oh, so that's what makes you bisexual? Yeah. Cause I can eat them out, I'm not gonna- I didn't bleep out that F word. So you were a trans man? Yes, all day and day. <laughs> I like that trans man on YouTube. Um, she, she, it was the couple. She was a he, trans man and her girlfriend. He, but he, yeah. he was a trans <laughs> man and his girlfriend was um, a, 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 yeah. What was her name? Cannot Aubrey. Right. What you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. Not at all. Her wrong. girlfriend got her um, mm. stuff taken away. They fell out. <laughs> she said she wanted the real the thing. <laughs> It's okay. So it made it look like, which I don't even know if it's true, but when Aubrey broke up with Jason, it made it seem as if she wanted the real thing at that point. And that just might be ignorance on our end. We don't really know, you know. But um, after he got, after she got uh, some parts taken out or taken off, what I whatever. Um, that's when they broke up. It was just kind of ironic, you know. Um, you gotta cut off me. Just leave me. If I leave like that, if you watch this, I love you. Come to me. You want the man? Yes. yes. The drink man is so fine. That's a nice looking brother. Nice looking brother. For some reason. So from there, everybody's like, "Wait, would you date? So would you actually date a boy? Would you actually talk to a boy? Have you ever dated boys? Like what?" He's gay, he's a boy, what's going on? I thought you only dated girls, I, don't, I thought you only dated trans women. I'm actually a pansexual. Um, a pans I feel like I, I made a video, or I think on my Instagram about this, letting you guys know um, what that, you know, what it is to be a pansexual, and what that is about, basically. But, as a pansexual, you're basically attracted to whoever you're attracted to. Pansexuals just really do whatever the hell they want to do. Like, people think bisexuals is just so bad. Not even saying pansexuals is bad. However, pansexual, they'll date a man, they'll date uh, a woman, 
um, they're they transgender, um, of course, of their liking, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I'm sure it's a fine line between femininities and masculinities, you get what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I, I think it's all it all just depends on what you like, but if you want to go at a, a sexual, you know what I'm saying, a sexual. Instead of bisexual, bisexual just telling you like, hey, I like women sometimes, I like men. Pansexual is like whatever, they do whatever, however they want to do it. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm, don't go for either, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let people just do what they do, you know what I'm saying? But just saying, yeah. Who they are as a person, their personalities, whether it's a, it's a trans woman or whether it's a trans man. Well, I'm not the me personally, even though I'm a pansexual, I'm attracted to femininity. Meaning, I would not date anyone masculine. Meaning, I would not date a trans man. I would not date a guy like a, one of my hood folk dudes from, you know, whatever. I would not date one of them. Um, I'm attracted to femininity. Which means I would date a trans woman. I would date uh, a cisgendered biological woman. I would date uh, uh, a gay man. Is feminine. Like, I okay, so he would date a gay man that's feminine, which Zoe is very feminine. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If Zoe and JC end up going together, first of all, I don't know how tall JC is. But I know Zoe is very, very feminine. And I feel like Zoe is pansexual. He has to be. Oh anyway. Um you know, some of y'all may. Damn, that lawnmower is loud. Just keep on riding by, sir. Oh, you gotta ride back again, huh? Can you get the hell away from me? Some of y'all might think that this is weird. This is not weird at all. People need to learn to let people live their life and just do what the hell they want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's the point I am in my life. I don't care. Like, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I please. You get what I'm saying? Period. People need to get used to that. Now, JC on and Zoe Dayton would be very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Zoe is very, very feminine. Um, but Keep watching. <laughs> a masculine boy, someone who looks like me, acts like me. I can't, I can't do it. I feel like I'm basically dating me. So, even though I am a pansexual, I cannot date anything that comes off masculine. Just for the simple fact of I need to be the only masculine thing within my relationship or within anything that I decide to, to, to relate myself to. So, yeah, it goes it goes deep into, you know, a lot of people didn't really know of me. Besides, anybody who's followed me on Facebook knows what I am and what I'm open to as far as, like, the ballroom scene and um, my sexuality and what, I, what I'm into. A lot of people from my YouTube do not know me on that aspect because they haven't been following me for a minute. A lot of people only know from, you know, my ex-relationship. Aubrey, um, me dating a trans woman. When I do step outside in the street, a lot of people may tend to ask, hey, do you only date trans women? Because then they think that a trans woman is different from dating a woman. Which to me, it's not, personally. Um, okay, so he said he don't think that a trans woman is different <clears throat> from a woman. Woman. This is my question. You know, JC, and I wish you could answer this. I don't know if you're going to watch this. But, in a trans relationship, you know, clearly as, you know, lesbians or whatever, we like to, uh, well, it involves fellatio. You get what I'm saying? If you don't know what fellatio is, look it up. So, in a trans relationship, are you giving fellatio? If so, you will be giving fellatio to the um, straighter part of that person. <clears throat> which which is I mean which is fine clearly you you know you do what you do 
Um, I don't know if transgender is just like, it seems as if it's like a, a like an identity thing. Like I'm male, you know what I'm saying? Even though I don't have the male parts, I'm a male. You know what I'm saying? And even with <clears throat> being female, I don't have all the female parts, but I'm a female. But I just want to know, because he said that <clears throat> he don't feel like it's different. Because, you know, some men don't have, they haven't had the surgery yet. They still have their man parts. So, you know what I'm trying to say? Do you still give fellatio, I guess, to a trans woman that has man parts? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's a question I want to know. And this is not being funny or being ignorant. I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to know. Uh, if you could answer that question, that would be great. Because I, I don't know that answer. Or if any one of y'all know, let me know. Because I, I really want to know. Genuinely want to know. Then that changes the fact that she's a trans woman. Honestly speaking. But other than that, you know, would I date Zoe? So would I date Zoe? Probably. You know, social media might be different if he presents, he might talk like a flamboyant person, but in a relationship, he might be very masculine. Right. Is that something that I would want to be dealing with? Uh, yeah. Probably not. Nah, nah. <laughs> Is he attractive? Yes, he's very attractive. Um, and it's different to talk to people who, you know, like, especially a lot of cisgender women to understand a transgender, a trans man's point of view when it comes to his sexuality. It's hard for me to talk about it because it's like, I don't want any any cisgender woman to be like, well... Is he saying cisgender? I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Because now I get looked at as, oh, that's mad gay, or you are homosexual. Or rip, basically, you're homosexual now because of the fact that you will find another man attractive or date another man when my sexuality is just fluid, it's different. I'm, you know, I'm not someone who puts myself, I don't put myself in a box, so obviously, you know, there are trans men who are only gay, who only gay males, who only gay gay males and other males. Um, there are transgender men who are straight, who only gay women, who wouldn't even date anything else besides you have trans men, trans men who wouldn't date anything else besides a cisgender woman. Cisgender. Trans man who wouldn't date anything besides a, 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 a trans woman. So everyone is different. Everyone dates anyone, to be honest. Like I said, every single day is a new founding of what my supporters will see of who I am. <coughs> Well, I would like to interview you. <clears throat> That's what I want to do. Y'all, spread the damn word. I want to interview you so we can, we can get these questions out there and we can have these conversations about, hell, how you feeling and, you know, what you're thinking and stuff like that because you, you are totally accepting the fact that you live outside of the norm, more, even more outside of the gay norm, you know what I'm saying, of the, um, of that norm. And, I think that that is very, very, um, I know it might sound crazy if I say heroic, but I mean, uh, people, people are afraid to be themselves, y'all, y'all don't even understand, like, that's why I pride in, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I take people very serious when they say what they like and what they do, how they do it, 
I take it very serious because it's a lot of people that's afraid to do that. Just afraid to step out of that box. I can't step out of this box because she gonna she ain't gonna like me. Or he gonna have something to say. So I'm not. I'm. You're not. Anything that goes on behind closed doors is none your business. You get what I'm saying? None ya. You know. So I, I just don't get where people be coming from. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Uh, I would like to interview you. So if we could do that, that would be. Um, and that would be great. So just let me know. And if not, that's cool. I respect it either way, you know. I respect you as a person. I just, you know, it's just dope that you just do what you want to do. I just think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't care about any judgment. So, <clears throat> I'm going to stop talking y'all head out, man. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Let JC on know I would like to interview him. You know what I'm saying? And um, we definitely going to go ahead and get to the next video, y'all. Love y'all. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the baddest the best the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.